you think, this can't be happening, not the flu. An Oceanside family grieving the loss of a beloved grandmother who died from complications related to the flu. Pamela Clayton fell unconscious after developing a bad cough. 10 News reporter Michael Chen reveals the one thing that loved ones wish they would have done to help her. She absolutely loved animals. Just over two weeks ago, Chuck Clayton's tough and big-hearted wife of 35 years developed a cough, but no fever. A small cough and just progressively got worse over a couple of days. After three days, Chuck tried to get Pamela to go to the hospital. She refused. She had gotten a flu shot and said this. I'm going to get through this. I'll be okay. I've done it before. The next morning. This can't be happening. Chuck found his 65-year-old wife on the bathroom floor unconscious. An ambulance rushed her to the hospital. Instant, your heart sinks. Where loved ones, including her daughter Angie, got the news. Her condition deteriorating quickly. Pneumonia, a severe infection, and organ failure. All complications from the flu. We sat in the emergency room just in disbelief. Angie took this photo, her mother's hand in hers, a day before Pamela was taken off life support. I'm waking up already crying. I don't have my mom anymore, so, and I don't like that club. Like nearly all of those who have died from the flu this season, her mother had an underlying condition. Three years ago, kidney stones led to sepsis and kidney damage. She recovered, but doctors tell us it left her body vulnerable when the flu later invaded her body. Her death, leaving loved ones wondering what if. I think we all wish we would have just got her and pushed her into a car and took her. Well, nobody knows if that could have saved her life. They gotta go. Her family urging others to err on the side of getting treatment for a killer they didn't see coming. You think, this can't be happening, not the flu. Michael Chen, 10 News. 192 out of the 206 people who have died from the flu this season had underlying medical conditions. 69 of them were vaccinated. 